Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial will look at adding a watermark to your Word documents. Now, watermark is a very useful feature, especially for those intermediate advanced users out there. It allows you to put some text or a picture in the background of your document. Popular uses will have words like confidential, draft, do not copy, or a picture such as a logo in the background of your text or on your page. Now in a document in front of me at the moment I wish to add a watermark. To add a watermark I'm going to go to my page layout tab on the ribbon and into the watermark button. Watermarks are an aspect of page formatting. So you'll find them on the page layout tab. And they appear in the background similar to the way headers and footers do. That is also a way that you can access watermarks in the future. For now though, especially in these later versions of Word, very easy. I have four types of watermark immediately in front of me. Maybe I'm happy to choose do not copy, so I'll just select that one and easy as pie I have a watermark. You may just about be able to make that out in the background there. Diagonal text and kind of greyish colour do not copy behind the text on my page. If I wasn't happy with that, I could come back to my watermark button and you have the option of a custom watermark or to remove the watermark from my page down there. Let's say I'll go for custom watermark. Maybe I'm happy to have one but I've decided not to have do not copy. Here I have much more opportunity, much more scope to do something different. I could choose a picture watermark and I can browse for a picture probably keep it as a washout which is a nice faded image and have that in the background such as a logo. I could keep a text watermark but from this text drop down list you have a much larger selection of watermark text. I could maybe choose draft, get to decide whether I want it to be horizontal or diagonal, what colour I wish it to be, what size. I stick with the defaults for them, click on OK, and now I have draft text in the background. So the custom watermark feature allows you to change almost every aspect of that watermark. Gives you much greater control to do what you want. You can even type your own text in there. And that is how to add a watermark to a Word document. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful. And please check out some other tips, tricks, and tutorials at computergaga.com.